Okay, in front of me I have a brand new alarm. This is actually not a smoke alarm for a change. This is a heat alarm. Um, and I just got this a few minutes ago from the mail. Um, and this is the Col Colette, or Colt, possibly. Wait a minute. Sorry about that. Uh, Colt, or Colette, Electric Company, Detroit, Fire, Fire Alarm. It's not Fire Alarm, it's Fire Alarm. Um, so that's an interesting way of saying it. And this is, in a, up here it says AC 110 to 120 volts. And then it's patent, and it says patent pending. Patent pending. And I got this, I don't know if I already said this, but I got this off eBay. It was actually relatively cheap, which is why I picked it up. Because these things are usually pretty pricey. They go up to usually 30 bucks. One's in rougher condition, and this had popped up. And um, so I decided I'd get it. Um, so yeah, these are pretty common on eBay, yet still pretty pricey yet sometimes. Sometimes pretty pricey. And... It is a lot smaller than I imagined. And I can get my KF Industries, which is not even bigger than my hand, to compare it to. And as you can tell, it, it, this is quite a bit, quite a bit um, longer, I guess, than this one. Um, and this one came before this. So anyhow, as you can see on the bottom, there's a little, what would look like a smoke vent for smoke to enter, if this was a smoke detector, but it's, since it's a heat detector, it actually has a, a little metal rod, which you can't see. There you go. A little metal rod, um, that when it heats up, it doesn't heat up, it doesn't have to heat up very much, um, but if heat, uh, touches this, it'll, um, contract it whatever contract whatever um and it will touch a little another little metal disc down there which i presume is hooked then to the two vibratory discs um, which actually are here and yes i do know that these use some sort of vibratory disc as there is a video up on youtube by a creator I do not know the name of, where he restores one of these. And inside is a transformer, and then right above it are two discs, which I presume would be the horn on this thing, as they do have wires running to it. So it's it's really simple on the inside of this. There's not very many... There's not like a PCB or anything, like a smoke alarm. It's just laid out on this metal base with uh, rivets. So it's a really simple, really ingenious design. Um, and I did test this and this does work. Um, which I can plug it in and know there's no like, there's no LED to this so you won't, I just have to guess if it's working or not, which I'm kind of pulling the unit. Um, this is actually so it's going to be a little off. Um, this is actually a lot louder than I presumed it would have been. So as you can hear, it makes a really rough sounding mechanical noise. Um, it's a lot different than your average mechanical horn, such as the um, Kabishi seal be 23, I want to say. No, not 23. But you get the point. Um, or the BRK horns, I guess, is a good example of a vibratory horn. Um, which now that coil's not going to stay together. So I would presume these were produced around the late 60s, so like 68, until probably the early 70s. 
most likely early 70s. Um, and these, like I said, are very common to come across on eBay. Like, there's a few sellers still selling them. And they don't really get sold too often, um, as collectors aren't really interested in them, since they aren't really smoke detectors, um, which I'm trying to fix this as best as possible. There was a zip tie on here, but I took it off so I could plug it in and test it, which it's, I'll fix it afterwards. And, uh, so yeah. So I'm really happy to get this. I've actually been, surprisingly or not, I've actually been wanting one of these for quite a while. Ever since I first saw one on eBay all those years ago. And yeah, there's nothing on the back, nothing stamped. There is um, one on eBay that actually has, I don't know, I can't remember if it's a sticker or if it's actually stamped on there, but it has writing on the back. Um, and that one's pretty pricey from what I remember. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video, which will probably actually end up being a collection video, as I don't have any other alarms planned. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.